Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the ESOB Rogue EMP210 Pro. So what this unit does, um, MIG, stick, TIG, lift arc TIG, DC only, um, multi-process unit, compact, 37 pounds, pretty light, 110, 220, single phase, so uh, covers all your power ratings, good for a 10,000 watt generator as well. Um, in this video, we're just going to go over some features, what it does, toggle through the screen, show how easy it is. Um, and take a look at that, some other features. So, just a one once over all the way around. It's pretty awesome. It came with some extra handles. I did not mount them yet, uh, but it's got a handle out there, so front face guard, uh, pretty cool. And then it has a rear face guard that you can run the cord down through, so it doesn't strain on your cord. Uh, on button in the back. So on the front of the machine, when we fired it up, uh, you got your positive cable already hooked on to it. Come with a ground and a MIG gun, but. It's got this pretty easy to use screen, very nice, very clear. So basically settings, information, welding variables, synergic settings, and then we got jobs, and we got our trigger mode, whether we want a four tap or two tap trigger, then we got our synergic line. So if we, that's a button here, this one isn't, but this one is, hit it. Then you have synergic line, a MIG, manual line, stick, and lift arc TIG. So if we just go in the synergic, hit there, hit okay, and basically we just adjust what size material and then what and basically where we're going to be at and what kind of bead profile shape we want on that synergic line. Pretty awesome, easy to use. We want to go back, just hit the settings again, jump into there, and obviously you can get in the manual, hit OK. Then we can adjust our voltage and our inches per minute wire feed speed. Just just like a regular old MIG machine. We'll get out of that, we'll go into that again. We got our stick. And this thing is 6010 capable, uh, 7018 obviously, up to 180 amps, and then all the way down to 10 amps. So pretty pretty good output on this unit. So on MIG side, the duty cycle on 220s at 19, 19 and a half volts is 100%. So very good duty cycle. Um, good duty cycle on stick as well. We'll go back out of there, and I'll show you the TIG. So it is just a lift arc, um, and then basically all the way up 210 amps on TIG, and then all the way down to 10 amps on TIG. So some thin gauge material on that, all the way up to some thick stuff. Pretty awesome, easy to use, very clear setup. Like the machine, now if we go over to the door here on the side, changed up the handle a little bit from the other Rogues, but I like it. You just lift up, pulls right up. A lot easier, it's not like that Chinese finger trap that you got. One wheel drive roll system, got your one idler wheel, got your tensioner, pretty simple. Um, your spool holder right here, and then obviously the Rogue, they have a chart that gives you, if you change your gas, uh, gives you some parameters, recommended settings. So this machine, 24 gauge all the way up to 3 8 material. So very good range of uh, usability on this thing. Uh, pretty, like I said, easy to set up. Everything that came in the box with it. I mean, plug and play, came with your regulator, your gas hose, all you need is gas. Um, super simple, had an adapter for the uh, gas hoses and all your plugs because we got it plugged in the 220. On the back, you can see we have the gas inlet here. So that's got a through the DINs gas connection on it for your TIG torch. And we'll link all that extras down below for it. Uh, pretty awesome, nice, light, compact machine. Super simple to set up. Uh, we welded with one at a show a while back. Welded really, really nice. Just on MIG, we didn't do any stick welding or anything like that, but it set up. Welded really nice. I mean, it's not bad. For what it is, 37 pounds. I think light industrial, home hobby, fab, farm, that kind of thing. It has good power output running on a 10,000 watt generator. You can't go wrong with that. So if you got any questions, comments, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for some more.